I'm Michael Q. Adler U. And I um, have been a teacher for the past, going on seven years now. And there's been a lot of things that I've learned from being a teacher. And the most important thing that I've learned from being a teacher is always be learning. And on top of that, execute. So I started this podcast to be able to help other teachers and anybody else that's really looking forward to learning and applying different information because that's one thing that I'm doing in this journey of my life because as I'm learning, I'm growing and as I'm executing, I'm able to give back not only to myself, but then also those that I teach. So this is just going to be an open community, an open platform to be able to share knowledge that that's out there to be able to help you grow and elevate. And you can feel free to follow me on IG. That's where I do most of my uh, posts on social media. Also on Facebook as Michael Q. Lauderdale. Also on TikTok and on Twitter as well. So just feel free to follow me on all of those platforms. But I am a PE teacher, so I do a lot of things inside the gym and outside of the gym to help people to transform their minds and their bodies because I feel that PE is one of those subject areas in which that you're able to apply what you learn and that is where true learning takes place. There's a lot of times where you learn information, but if you never apply it and you just put it down on a sheet of paper, you're just regurgitating information. But through physical education and by being by doing what you learn, you're able to implement and therefore you're executing. So always be learning and executing or able because you are able to do anything that you put your mind to and once you form the mind you're able to form the plan and in my case i have these four f's so form the mind form the plan that's the first portion because you're going to form form what you need to form so then you can create like a step-by-step -step detail and that's the plan it's a sequence of chains of events that's going to happen in order for you to create what you have and then in the creation phase you're going to fight the fat and in doing so in the gym this is you exercising this is you putting in the work so then you're able to do everything that you need to do to be able to build a muscle or fight the fat the third f stands for feed the fit because throughout your life, you're going to have to be, you, it will serve you well to be healthy from within. Because what you eat either is going to heal you or kill you. Because you have microbiomes within your body that are going to help you get to the next level. So if you aren't, if you're feeding yourself on like a nutrient list diet, it's really not going to help you, you know, really grow in the way that you need to. But if you have a macro dense, diet then it's going to be able to help you are you tired of being tired of not having enough energy to last you throughout the day are you wanted at work too drained to go to the gym or too sluggish to play with your kids and too tired to hang out with your friends and your family don't worry you're not the only one in fact one in three americans struggle with having enough energy to last throughout the day but there's good news because you can change all that by focusing on your gut health did you know that your gut has good and bad microbiomes that grow inside of it? And the more that you feed the good, the healthier and livelier that you feel. When you feed the bad ones over time, you start to feel bad, then sad, and it turns into a fad that you feel like you can't escape. Then it becomes your personality, aka your personal reality, and you feel like you can't escape it, and you accept life as it is, and that it won't change. But that's where you're wrong. You just have to be able to shift your focus. See, most people fall into the trap of the sad diet, or the standard American diet which focuses on fast food, which is cheap and high in calories, rather than nature's fast food, which are fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts and legumes that help nourish your body so then you can flourish. It's also no mistake that 90% of Americans do not eat enough fruits and vegetables according to the daily recommendations, and that's only five servings a day. What if I told you you can have the equivalent of six superfood salads all in one that's all natural, organic, whole foods? Yes, natural, organic, whole foods and you can make and consume it in under a minute and it only costs $4 a day. So there's no excuse that you need to shop, chop, and cook your foods because it's delivered at your front door. If this sounds good to you, check the description down below and schedule a 15 minute complimentary call so that you can see how this can be able to fit into your lifestyle. So you can change your personal reality and increase your energy, mood, digestion, sleep, and skin, all by focusing on your gut health, which is the cause to all your symptoms. 
Don't believe me? Just Google gut health blank and you'll find plenty of research articles that find a connection. Back to the video. In a nutrient dense, it is basically just where you're getting all the nutrients that your body needs. Instead of focusing on macros, instead of focusing on the carbs, fats, and carbohydrates, focus on the, vi the all the vitamins that your body needs. So then you'll be able to your body will be able to use everything that it needs in order to get in order for it to function at a better, deeper level. And then the fourth F is to fit it in, because once you create the plan, you have created the ideal life that you would like and you're able to do everything you're able to learn and then you're able to be healthy so then you can extend your life and extend your ability to be happy because you're living for a longer period of time at a more sustainable period of time now you have to be able to fit it in because throughout life and your journey things are going to change uh, the information that served you well 10 15 years ago is not going to serve you well in the current situation because life is always ever changing and with the use of social media technology things are exponentially changing so you need to be able to have that growth mindset and this is where fitting it in comes in comes into place because there's some things from the past that can serve you well in the present but you always need to be able to fine tune some things there's going to be some things that you need to throw out so then you can gather in some information because if you are not as successful as you would like to be, it's not because you're not a good person. It's just because you're operating at 100% of the person that you are. In order to become something new, you need to grow and elevate and become something different. So be, be do, have. Once you be the person and do the things that that person does, you will have the things that that person do, has. But in order for you to be that person, you have to, to have what that person has. You need to become that person. And that's like a mentality shift. So you have to undo what you've learned. So unlearn what you learn and relearn and apply. And this is the phases of always be learning and executing. And that's the purpose of this podcast. It's just to be able to help document the journey because there's a lot of things that I'm learning that I wish that I would have known like 10, 15 years ago because it really, really served, really helped me really exponentially help me in the current spot that I'm in in my life, which is a great spot. But knowing if I if I knew now what I knew then, I things would have definitely been a whole lot, a whole lot different. And I've been reading quite a bit of books I bought around like 20 books in the past uh, eight months if that really six months and then I've read how many books have I read I've read about uh, 10 books so far this year alone I've read uh, four physical books and then I've read or listened to six uh, audio books so I'm just really learning and really fine tuning my knowledge base so then when it's time, time to execute, which I am executing by starting this podcast, by posting more on social media and then doing things with an online presence, I'm then just positioning myself for the long game. To learn more information about Purim and the family of products, check out the description down below to set up a 15 minute complimentary call. And you can also check out the website. You're just one click away for a better life. Your health is too important to continue to push it off. Go ahead and check out the website and see if a product fits you. So I'm just documenting the journey and I hope that y'all follow along. Feel free to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. If this uh, resonates with you, I will be uploading videos once a week, the day to be announced. But thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see y'all next time. Again, I am Michael Q. L. A. U. Because you learn by doing and applying. So always be learning and executing because you are able.